Okay. Welcome to biweekly call, GUI and win in web browsers, which happened months ago last time, but maybe holidays. <laughs> All days. Um, uh, yeah, so we've been busy with a bunch of stuff, but uh, breaking the silence, I guess, uh, to give a few quick demos of recent developments in the browser land. Uh, so I'll just jump straight to that and share my screen. Um, so this is a Brave browser. <laughs> and I got a demo about Brave a bit later, but first I wanted to um, show how we solve the final uh, feature gap on public subdomain gateways. Uh, gateways. So the problem with uh, public subdomain gateways was that um, Maybe I'll illustrate, it will be easier. So so a Wikipedia mirror has DNS link set up. And if you just load the original domain name, which has DNS link, the DNS TXT record with a content path to IPFS resource, uh, it looks like a regular website. So uh, the problem is uh, what happens if this uh, original HTTP server goes down? The copy is still on IPFS, but how do you get to it? So in the past, um, you would go to IPFS IO, IPNS, right? And you enter the domain name here. Wow, that's a bit slow. Right. So that may take uh, some time to load or not. I'm not sure why it's, it's loading so far, so slow. Uh, anyway, this way you can load it from a public gateway. It will eventually fetch uh, the content you want. The problem is uh, this is path gate based gateway and you don't get, uh, oh, yeah. So you don't get any original isolation every website loaded this way will share cookies with, with it will be stored in IPFS IO origin. So every page shared the same origin, which is bad. Um, so we have subdomain gateways to solve the origin problem. Um, however, the problem, maybe I will also illustrate so. I, I'm using Cloudflare Gateway because they are running current stable version of Go IPFS, which is a good illustration. Um, so if you try to load um, it in a similar fashion from a subdomain gateway, I believe it will redirect you to a subdomain. However, what happened now? You see this TLS error. It says that connection to site is not secure. And the problem is that the name of a domain of a TLS certificate is not matching, <laughs> is not matching this domain. The problem is that you got more than a single level. You can see there's one level here. Here is another level and there's the third one. And the TLS certs support wildcards However, those wildcards are only for a single level. So we solved this problem uh, in the, uh, the patch landed in Go IPFS, and it will uh, be released with Go IPFS 0.8. Uh, however, we already uh, run this patch on the web link gateway. So oh gosh. So if you load this this way, you can see uh, it loaded fine because we encode, uh, we inline uh, domain names into a single DNS label, which is compatible with TLS certs. So it's a tiny fix and probably most of uh, people don't care about it, but it was the final uh, missing gap between path-based gateways and subdomain gateways. Uh, it's not something we expect people to use often, but if you are web browser developer or you, if you are 
uh, running a website and you want to link to some mirrors, you can just link to other subdomain gateways this way. And even if your original server is down for some reason, people will still be able to load DNS link uh, website uh, this way. And what happened here is you can see my second <laughs> update, which is native support for IPFS in Brave. And this is Brave 1.19. Um, and here you can see I loaded a public subdomain gateway and Brave automatically detected, hey, this thing looks like IPFS resource. Would you like Brave to load it using a local IPFS node? And there's this enable IPFS uh, button. And if I click that button, uh, Brave will uh, download IPFS uh, daemon and start it. And you will be able to load uh, IPFS URIs, resources like this from a local gateway uh, managed by Brave. Um, but I will not do that. Instead, I will show you a much easier onboarding. So you go, maybe here, you go to settings and you go to extensions and you enable IPFS companion. It takes a moment, but here companion is installed. And you can see I already got my node running. However, that's my local IPFS desktop. And I wanted to screen share this because uh, probably most of people who are watching this are already running IPFS node. Uh, so this is not a standard flow, but probably will reduce a lot of confusion. So you can see I'm using external node. This is uh, Go IPFS running in Docker. However, I can switch to node provided by Brave. And this will trigger the same prompt. If I enable IPFS here, it will download the daemon and start it. It was fast because I got a fast gigabit fiber at my place. It probably won't be as fast for everybody, most of people on the planet, but I'm lucky. Uh, just You just need to be patient. And um, here. Uh, and there are, there are interstitial texts. If you don't have immediate fast internet like Lytle does, you'll see step one of three, step two of three, step three of three. We'll see that guidance. I'm pretty sure you can play YouTube, uh, slow the down and you <laughs> will see Slow the YouTube that. down. <laughs> yeah, apologies for that. I, sh I, I could like figure it out a better demo, but yeah. Uh, and what happens here is it's a regular IPFS node running. You can even go to web UI. Uh, it's right now 0.7, uh, however, the Cool thing about this is all auto updates of IPFS uh, node uh, will be automatically handled by Brave. So you don't need to update it. They will take care of it. Um, and what's cool is that if I go once again, if I go to that website with DNS link, And if you have IPFS companion, it will automatically redirect you to native URI. So uh, you don't need to do anything fancy. Now it just works. Uh, I believe it's scheduled to hit a stable channel today. So probably when you are watching this, it's already um, in the production version of Brave. If not, stay tuned or play with Brave beta or Brave Nightly. Um, that's the demo. Uh, we'll probably add uh, links to some blog posts in, uh, in notes, um, but right now it's pre-release. So that's all I wanted to show you. Any last moment topics we want to discuss? We probably have more uh, things to discuss next time we see each other in two weeks. Uh, maybe something pinning service related, or maybe not, <laughs> who knows. I assume we don't have anything on our agenda, so I'll stop my recording now. I Thank think you. we're good. Yeah. For anybody out there in internet land, see you in two weeks, one hour later than usual. The oh. new usual is one hour later than the old usual. Yeah. 
that's me. I move. I just moved the item, uh, the, this call in the community calendar, but I did not update any description on our GitHub issue. So I will do that. Uh, this call. Oh, you're gonna cool. Yeah, I will. I will take that off my list. Thank you. Yeah. All right. See you in two weeks.